Yo Kuso. Hello, and welcome to the first of four videos. These are dedicated to shining a new light on the life of Takamatsu Tochitsugo Sensei and sharing exciting details from Grandmaster Shoto Tanamura's new book series called Takamatsu's True Martial Arts Legacy, Volumes 1, 2, and 3. Grandmaster Shoto Tanemura. More than 65 years of training and over 40 years of research went into creating Soke's one-of-a-kind book series about Takamatsu Sensei. You really owe it to yourself to get your copy as soon as possible. My name is Michael Coleman, and my title is Kiyoshi. I've been a student under Tanamura Soke since 1987. These videos will offer many of the exclusive insights I've learned from Soke. Plus, they'll highlight never before published facts and martial arts legacy passed down to us by Grand Master Tochitsugo Takamatsu. Takamatsu Sensei's birth name was Jutaro. At nine years of age, Takamatsu Jutaro entered the dojo of Toda Sensei. Following are the five dojo principles written by Toda Shinruken Masamitsu. In the summer of 1898, when Takamatsu was about nine years old, his father, then called Yasuburo, got married for the third time. Luckily for all of us, his new wife's uncle was Grandmaster Toda Shindruken Matsumitsu. Toda Sensei had a dojo teaching Shinden Fururu in a nearby town. <laughs> At that time, the young Jutaro started out as a shy and weak child. He was even given the nickname Crybaby. To change this condition, Yasuburo asked Toda Sensei to train Jutaro in true Budo martial arts. The purpose was to forge for his young boy a stronger body and stronger spirit. Toda Sensei was already of advanced age when Jutaro entered the dojo. Normally, the master would have had only his assistants teach the lower level students. However, Takamatsu Sensei showed unexpected talent, so he was accepted right away as a direct student. The training Takamatsu Sensei endured was severe. Jutaro suffered many injuries and thought about giving up more than once. Still, Takamatsu Sensei's father was very strict and never allowed his son to quit. In this way, Takamatsu Jutaro trained under Toda Sensei every day after school, and this apprenticeship will become a large part of Takamatsu Sensei's Jiga Ninmiki training. This means developing the power to believe in oneself. Takamatsu Sensei as a human being.
Though it's true that Takamatsu Sensei encountered and conquered many extraordinary life situations that most would have called impossible. Still, like each of us, Takamatsu Sensei was also a Ningen, a human being. Obviously, the first point of life we need to discuss is birth. Whether we remember it consciously or not, there is an inherent difficulty in just being born on this earth. Takamatsu Sensei was born on March 10, 1889, Meiji year 22. His birthplace was Okura Dani Village. The modern name of this place is Akashi City near Kobe. Proof of this birth date and place were confirmed by official government documents signed by Takamatsu Sensei's father. Part 1 of 8 From birth, one is helpless to master anything. Yet, if you start from the basic training and develop the proper heart, power eventually comes. It is then that you become a useful person. Abe Muga, founder of the Shinden Fudoru Dakin Taijutsu, from Fudo Kyoho Den. Handed down for generations, there exist in Japanese a number of wise Yoji Jukugo. These are poetic, four character phrases that bring to light many of the deep truths and common challenges we all face in life. One well-known Yojijukugo in Japan is Shikuhaku. Many modern dictionaries translate Shikuhaku as being in dire distress, or even the struggle is real. However, if we go back to the original source of this phrase, I personally believe that Shikuhaku can be used to represent the basic conditions all people must understand and accept as the inescapable reality inherent in human life. In the Niniku Seishin, it states, Niniku Seishin o Kompon Totsuru. This means the forbearing spirit is based upon Chijoko Shinomude Urami o Hojisuru. Bearing and enduring shame and letting go of resentment. We seek to use Hansei, reflection, to break down the walls of painful resentment built up throughout life, endeavoring to rise above the bitterness left over from experiencing the lessons each of us must surely endure. As true martial artists, we must try to transmute what some would call suffering into a higher form of spiritual training. The mission that I feel and carry is to convey to the people of this world the true meaning of self-protection. These are the steps. First, one should learn the way to protect one's body. Grandmaster Shoto Tanemura. The first year of training for Takamatsu Jutaro was learning to survive. This started by taking uke from Toto Sensei and his senpai almost every day. My sensei, Grandmaster Shoto Tanamura, had a very similar experience. Tanamura Sensei, too, endured many years of receiving countless throws as well as powerful strikes. And like Takamatsu Sensei, as a child, Soke walked long distances in order to train, returning to his house, crying in pain, all the way home. Minkyo Kaiden Master Kotaro Tanemura
Takamatsu Hisasugu Sensei. Takamatsu Sensei's adult name, from about 15 years old, was Hisasugu. Much later in life, Takamatsu Sensei started to pronounce the kanji of his given name as Toshitsugu, keeping the same kanji as before. By his second year training with Toda Sensei, Jutaro had become an ukemi specialist. So at that time, Takamatsu Sensei started to learn actual martial arts kata and practical techniques. In the Shinden Fudoru Chuden level, there is a front flip. Takamatsu Sensei progressed this training by using five fingers, four fingers, three fingers, two fingers, one finger, and finally, a no hands air flip. Takamatsu Sensei also learned backflips, along with Musashiru Jujitsu. <laughs> Techniques like these are still included in the Gimbukan Nimpo Buge curriculum today. By Takamatsu Sensei's fourth year of training, he was 13 years old and it was 1902. Jutaro was now easily able to spar with 25-year-old senpais more than 10 years his senior. By that time, Takamatsu Sensei had already received the Shinden Furoru Minkyo Kaiden. Next, Jutaro's ability to defend himself was tested and his success was confirmed by an official Japanese police report. A newspaper at the time investigated and reported on Takamatsu Sensei's tremendous ability. Police confirmed that Takamatsu had defeated 60 street gang members. Part 2 of 8 The Suffering of Being Apart from the People You Love First, Takamatsu Sensei's mother, Moriyama Fushi, was gone soon after he was born, so Jutaro could feel the pain of separation, but not even remember his mother's face. 2. One of Takamatsu Sensei's teachers, Ishitani Matsutaro Sensei, passed away in front of him, with his head laying across Takamatsu Sensei's lap. 3. Another important teacher, Toda Shinruken Matsumitsu Sensei, passed away without even being able to say goodbye, while Takamatsu Sensei was away in China. Please note this important fact. Toda Sensei passed away in 1913, Taisho, year two, at the age of 83 or 84. And four, sadly, one of Takamatsu Sensei's most accomplished students, Akimoto Fumio, who is younger than his teacher, passed away in 1962, 10 years before his sensei. Each of these four previous examples is an experience of the suffering of being apart from people you love. Fukutsu no Seishin No matter what you attempt to do, you cannot reach mastery without Fukutsu no Seishin. This is an indomitable spirit and the fortitude to get back up no matter how many times you fall. True martial arts are not sports. 
no matter how sick you are physically or mentally. The enemy will not wait for you. Despondency over a broken bone or two is of no use in a life or death battle. If you do not have this serious mindset in your regular training, you will not be able to demonstrate your determination and grit for the protection of either your heart or your physical body in a real emergency. Ruha. Igaru includes Shinden Fudoru, Togakuriru Nimpo, Kotoru Kopojitsu, and others. Takamatsu Sensei's first Ruha mastered under Grandmaster Toda was Shinden Fudoru. Still, Toda Sensei told Jutaro that even after Shinden Fudoru Minkyo Kaiden, his Taijutsu training was not yet complete. For this, Takamatsu Sensei specifically needed more Nimpo training. So, at 13 years old, Takamatsu Sensei started to learn Togakuriru Nimpo and Kotoru Kopojitsu also. This will be covered in video number two of this series. I'll see you in the next video.